Welcome back to another video. So you guys won't believe what Julius Malema said about the government of national unity. You know, from how he was saying, he was confidently sure that the government of national unity is not going to last for a very long time. And also the fact that Cyril Ramaphosa will soon uh, be removed and will not uh, uh, finish second term. For continue, please do me a favor. Do not forget to subscribe. multi stop please. So I just want you guys to hear what Julius Malema had to say about the government of national unity, whether or not it will last, and also uh, what he said about Sarama Posa, you know, being removed as a president, not being able to finish um, his second term. For continue, watch this. The GNU will not last long. I give it a year. If it goes beyond the year, it will be two years because after the ANC conference, it will collapse. Remember, the DA said we are prepared to work with the ANC of Cyril Ramaphosa. So the ANC conference is going to remove Cyril Ramaphosa. Whether he likes it or not, it's his second time. He's not coming back. So the most likelihood, if they survive a year, after the ANC conference, they will not succeed because like province of Houthi, look at it, it has completely rejected the DA and went on to constitute government without the DA. So guys, Julius Malema is confidently sure about what he was saying. He says after the ANC conference, people will wash their hands with government of national unity. He says... Um, if it, it's going to last, it's going to last at least uh, two years. He says it's not going to last a year, but the highest will probably be around two years, guys. You know, you guys share your thoughts in the comments, you know. Um, guys, this is a very, very, you know, big issue. Government of national unity, you know. Um, EFF, MK rejected government of national unity, you know. Now, the ANC, alongside other small parties, the biggest party in the and the government of national unity is the ANC and the DA. Patriotic Alliance is way less. It's not even on the top four biggest political parties in this country. You know, the ANC is the one that is leading and selecting the cabinet. You know, it is the lead. It is the leading political party in the government of national unity, and it's the one in the first place that invited other political parties like Patriotic Alliance, which has been making a lot of noise. You know, since um they made um. Uh, Gaten McKenzie as uh, uh, Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, you know, so he has been trying uh, so hard, you know, to prove himself to South Africans that he is uh, the man for the job and he can be trusted and he is worthy of being a minister. You know? I, I see what he's trying to do and I really don't blame him. If I was also him, I would also use the opportunity to shine so that uh, people can uh, trust me more and think that I I'd always deliver with my job, you know. So, Julius Malema saying the government of national unity will not last, you know, has upset some people because since the government of national unity, some people were being really optimistic. They believe that government of national unity is actually the way and it will help South Africa change, you know, because since government of national unity, I, I, I don't want to lie, also I've seen some, a lot of changes. I've been seeing people, their, stock, their stocks, you know, also rose, you know, uh, by a small percentage, but it just shows that government of nationality so far so good, you know, but the question is, will this, you know, how long will this continue, guys? How long will we see this kind of results? For how long? You know, it's not in all departments that we have been seeing some great results, you know. Um, me, personally, guys, I just want to see good results on the on the police department, guys, you know, I see uh, sports, arts and culture department, but with the police, guys, this is where I will believe that government of national unity has brought a serious change. You know, since Peggy Gale was uh, sacked as a minister of police, they have put someone else right now. This way, minister of police and minister of home affairs, if they do their work correctly, guys, uh, that's when I'm going to be like, nah. Yeah, actually, uh, Saramaposa's ANC was onto something with this government of national unity. You know, because uh, the crime rate in this country um, is just out of hand, guys. The rape cases, you know, like so much thing, like it is just so crazy. It is just so crazy and it's so unfortunate because anyone in South Africa is not safe, you know. You can easily fall into a trap or easily, you know, see yourself, you know, um, 
a victim of crime in this country if you are really a South African, this regardless of where you are and which province you are, uh, your hood, whatever, guys, the crime is in this country is just getting out of hand. You know, so the government of national unity, guys, um, let's just hope, guys, it works out. But also, personally, I do not think that uh, we will see this amazing result um, so, so long, you know. And also, I just want to talk about MK Party as it was announced as the official op opposition by Toko Didiza as a, the member of parliament. She announced it, guys. So, <laughs> for a lot of people were like, uh, wasn't the DA the opposition and those kind of questions, you know. The same question that I'm asking myself. MK Party, the new opposition, people were like, Nelson Mandela must be turning on his grave. Seeing MK Party... As the opposition, <laughs> yo guys, this is just, it means now we are, this is the apartheid government, guys. How can MK party be the, come on guys, is Jacob Zuma or MK party the opposition? I feel like they just, uh, Jacob Zuma is the opposition, not MK party, because there's no way in the history of a, of ANC it can make, Umkondo was seized with the opposition, you know. MK Party and Umkondo was seized during the apartheid time, guys. What was happening between these two parties? They were together, you know. They were working together. It was just a military base of the ANC during that time of apartheid, you know. And at, while the 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 apartheid time was uh, heading towards the end, MK Party, you know, was taken out, you know. Because there was no need for MK Party anymore, you know. It helped a lot of people during their time in exile, you know. So, MK Party really played a huge role, you know, during the time of uh, apartheid, you know. And um, Oliver Tambo once said, guys, listen to this carefully. You know, a, corra uh, a corrupt ANC will be worse than the apartheid. And this is what I'm seeing, guys. The corrupt ANC is making Umkondo with Caesar the opposition. You know, so this takes us back to what Oliver Tambo said, guys. He was spitting facts when he said the corrupt ANC would be worse than the apartheid. You know, because right now, guys, okay, the the brutality is no longer there anymore. The one that uh, was happening during the apartheid, but the, like there is far worse than that we're still gonna see. The ANC right now is working with the enemy. It's working with the colonizers, messengers. So working with the DA in the government of national unity and they have abandoned uh, Umkondo Isizwe because they have personal agendas against Jacob Zuma. The EFF is the opposition. So guys, I really do not understand the A. This is not the ANC that they have fought so hard for. You know, the one which supported the, the liberation movement. The ANC which uh, fought for black South Africans, the ANC of Saramaposa, is working with the colonizers. They have signed papers, guys. It's on paper right now. You know, and when um, EFF comrades are bringing up matters in in in, um, in Parliament, saying that uh, we have to bring old old uh, stem and whatever, our Gaten are saying you are living in the past. <laughs> That's what Gaten McKenzie was saying to EFF comrade. You know, he was uh, busy mocking him, saying he is living in the past. He was trying to make him look really stupid when he raised a point about the old and the new stem of the national anthem. So, you see, guys, this is what we have came to. You know, Gaten McKenzie is using everything for cloud. You know, I really do not think that he is a, 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 a real leader. You know, he just hustled his way to the top. You know, he's not a really genuine leader like Julius Malema, Jacob Zuma. You know, he just want to make people, he just want to win people's hearts. And I see that his plan is working, but for how long will he keep it consistent? You guys share thoughts on the comment section below. What you think it? Don't forget to subscribe for more test updates.